Hi and welcome to VFX Tutors. My name is Josh and in this tutorial we're going to be trying to UV this in under 10 minutes or so. So you've got this knife and you want to make sure it's all nice and organized first. It's under a group and you want to make sure there's no history or transforms on it. So we're just going to go to our tribute editor and check this, sorry our channel box and freeze transforms, delete the history and you can do that and modify freeze transforms and center pivot as well. And we just want to make sure that we've got no transforms and no history, which looks all good. Otherwise, it will make give us some funny results with our UV. So we're going to start with the handle. And the first thing that I'll always do is uh, I'll just delete my UVs. Then I'll go UV camera based. Then I'll go to my UV editor. And that's created a camera based uh, UV. So it's worked from that camera view, but it's stretched over. And this allows us to now make a seams. So I'm going to start selecting where I want my seams and I'm just picking these edges here. I'm going to deselect there and you can sort of see I've selected around the top and down the side. And I want to make sure that I deselect this as well because it's probably going to select it all the way around. We don't want to do the whole thing, we just want to get half of it. So I'm just deselecting those edges. Cool. So now we've got those edges, I'm just going to go to my UV toolkit, select cut, and now that's made a, a UV seam down there, uh, down the side and around the top. And now I'm going to select the bottom and cut, and that's cut the bottom off. And I can see I've made a seam here, so I'm going to select that and sew that back together. Pretty much these are the tools that you're going to use for all your UVing basically, um, most of the time, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna select uh, Tools Unfold, and that's basically unwrapped it, and you can press Control U if you want as well. And you can see that's now, if we select the checkerboard, we can see that it's uh, unwrapped it. So I like to orientate my directional textures from left to right, so say if there was a wood grain, it would be going left to right, but you can do up to down, all that matters is that you keep it consistent throughout. So I'm going to press Control U to un unfold that top bit, and Control U again to unfold the bottom bit. I want to try and make sure that these are orientated nicely. So we've got some dis uh, different uh, textile density sizes here. So what we want to do is make sure it all matches. So I go up to the top here, and there's a textile density tool here, and you can select Set. And that will make all the text all density the same. So I'm just going to organize this now. And when I organize stuff, I try to keep everything in a square. So even though we're not taking up a lot of the UV space, when I scale this up, I know I can scale it in a square and it will fit. So now we've done our handle. Let's go on to the, the guard. So I'm just going to control one. And the same again, I'm just going to go UV, delete UVs, select it again, UV, camera based. I'm going to right click and select my edges and just cut and now I can go to UV shell, control U to unfold. I'm just going to roll, make sure that's going the direction I want and control U and I'm just going to orientate them so they're both orientated the same and I can select both of these, go to my arrange and layer and orientate the shells and that will orientate them perfectly. So now I just need to select textual density and set and I can just leave those there for now. And that's that done. So if we control one, the last thing that we need to do is the blade. You can see the blade's got some pretty crazy UVs. So this is why I usually just delete them straight away. So I'm going to go UV, delete UVs, select it again, UV, camera based. And then I'm just going to do the same thing again. This is pretty much the same process for most of my UVing. Let's just turn that grid off so it doesn't get in the way. And hopefully that's gone all the way around. If you've got good edge loops, um, well, the good model, if it's got good edge loops, you should be able to double click on them and it will help you out a lot. So I'm just select all the edge loops around there and I just select cut. Now I select my UV shell and press Control U. And now let's unwrap that. So I'm just going to rotate this around so it's the right way. And, yep, that's the correct way, and I'm going to control U on that one. Check that 
think that's the right way around. Yep, that's the right way around. So you can either flip this if you want, or have them going both different ways. It's entirely up to you. So people like to work like that, so it transfers over. But one will be upside down. It's not a huge problem. You just got to remember one of those UVs. It will look like it's upside down. So I'm just going to orientate my shells. And set the textile density up here. And now I'm just going to move these out of the way. And we're pretty much done. So all we need to do now is actually or, uh, do our UV layout. And we're still under 10 minutes. We're in five minutes, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try and orientate these, well, lay these out as best as I can within a square space. Just so, because I know they're all the same textile density now. So I don't wanna scale them differently. I wanna keep them all the same. So it could be quite tricky to keep them all, and I don't think we will be able to because of these. So we might just have to adjust it again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select them all, scale it up, and that probably be a limit to what we can get to anyway, and we can move those around. Yeah, so it looks like we can probably place these down here. And we give it enough space to sort of, so it's definitely not overlapping. Cool. And that's pretty much it. We're just gonna double check that we've got no overlapping UVs. None of them are outside the first UDIM space. Unless you're making a super high res one, but I can just minimize that now and I can control one. And now we can see that our knife is pretty much perfectly UV'd. Um, it's quick, we've definitely managed to do that under 10 minutes, which is great. So I'm gonna try and do a couple more of these tutorials like this. Um, try and get them out fast because I know a lot of my other ones are really quite long. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.